On the desk in front of the camera is a watch that I have really wanted to look at for some time now. This is the Deep Star. Now, this one is the next generation. This is the smaller Deep Star 2, which is not a chronograph. But before we delve into the details here of this very surprising and enjoyable piece, I'd like to touch just briefly on the history because that, yeah, I mean, that's really the driving point of the brand is the history. So Aquastar was founded in Geneva, Switzerland in 1962 by Frédéric Robert. Frédéric had taken over Jean Richard uh, and changed the brand name Jean Richard to Aquastar. Now, he did this to emphasize the new mission of the brand, and that is to create professional level watches made especially for divers. So Aquastar, at least initially, for years were only available for purchase at dive equipment stores. So this essentially made Aquastar an underrated or underexposed brand that was really only known and enjoyed by divers. Now, Aquastar focused on creating these professional level dive watches. As they did this, they developed several design patents that included a friction bezel ring, a new crown seal system, the multiple dive decompression type bezel, and an inner rotating timer. So uh, here are pictures of some of those design patents, and here are some photographs of early Aquastar diver designs from the 1960s and 1970s. So this one is the original Deep Star from 1965, the same year that Seiko introduced the 62 MAS. Uh, this one is the Sea Time from 1972. This one is the Benthos from 1968. And over the years, the brand ended up changing hands until eventually it was officially relaunched in 2020. Now, what I like about this relaunch is it was gone about in the right manner. So Rick Marai, a lot of you are familiar with Rick Marai. He was essential in revitalizing Aquastar, and he's had great success in doing so with other brands like Doxa, Aquadive, Tropic Straps, and Isoprene Straps. So the important thing is doing it right, focusing in on the history, focusing in on the inception of the brand with the proper sizes, the proper fonts, the proper details that enable the watch to have the correct feel today. Now, in this video, we are going to take a good look at one of these reissues. This is the Aquastar Deep Star 2 Vintage Silver Stars. So quite a, a mouthful there with the name of the watch, but you guys can see this is a very sharp little diver coming in at 37 millimeters in case diameter with a 47.3 millimeter lug tip to lug tip dimension and then 11.5 in overall height. I say that the true height is 13.3 because that is the top of your domed sapphire crystal with triple layers of anti-reflective treatment, but it doesn't feel tall. Most of that is visual, so it really feels like a thin and trim diver that has surprising presence in person. And I think that is due to the light play coming off of this uh, polished bezel, the lovely sunburst effect of the dial, the very large subsidiary seconds that carries the concentric circle texturing, and then your supersized markers at the 12, 3, and 6 o'clock positions. Uh, that you pair with the mostly brushed finish of the case, and then your grains of rice style bracelet. And this thing is just straight up, it's a looker. The bezel is bi-directional rotating. We have the successive and multiple node decompression calculator indexing found in the bezel, and notice the large pip up there at the 12 o'clock position. The loom is high density fill, old light radium superluminova. So in low light, it's green and natural light. Uh, it's a lighter green. And I like the difference here. I like the contrast of these small circular hour markers and then the very large uh, areas of loom for the 12, the three and the six o'clock positions. I also like the squared off rectangular hour hand and then your standard pencil minute hand and then your blacked out needle subsidiary seconds hand. So if you look at everything, I think Aquastar, uh, they've just done a great job here with the level of crispness, the execution. This is a very clean execution. And I think that's a compliment on a watch that will retail for far less than $2,000. Now let's talk about the movement within this case, which you will not be able to view through a closed, faithful sunflower style type case back. 
is a, a top grade Salida movement, the SW290, which essentially is a modified 2824 design and it's modified for a no date and then a subsidiary second. So I like the fact that we have a respected Salida movement or ETA design within this case. Uh, I did mention the good dial work, the good presence. Let's talk about the strap options. This will ship on a gray premium seatbelt style type of NATO strap. And I'm pleased to report that this is thin and supple and it doesn't have generic hardware. We do have custom hardware here for the buckle and uh, there will be the Aquastar logo there etched in uh, this hinging or pivoting buckle on the end of this uh, seatbelt style NATO strap. Now you can opt for this on the grains of rice bracelet or a tropic style strap. And fortunately, Aquastar did send all of the options. So I will show you every option that they sent me here on how that changes up the look and the feel of this Deep Star Vintage Silver Star 2. In my own opinion, I would say it looks the most at home on the Tropic strap. Now, this is a 19 millimeter lug width. The, the strap is nice and long. There is a good texture. This is a classic Tropic strap and it's very supple. You will not need to break this in uh, if you buy this on the strap. It's a very comfortable strap. And notice the hardware uh, is also not generic. You do have the Aquastar logo on one side and then the Aquastar signature on the reverse of the buckle. Now, my favorite way to wear this, big surprise, is on the grains of rice bracelet. I really like the ridges on the grains of rice. And I really like the way that this brings in some more light play. It brings in some more weight uh, to the overall look. It really takes the feel of the watch up to the next level, just in my own biased opinion there. Now, uh, let me talk about potential negative elements here as I wrap up the video. But I will say, if you are not into history, if you're not into retro divers, then really, I don't think this watch is for you. If you don't like the smaller, more traditionally sized sports pieces like this coming in at 37 millimeters in diameter, then this watch really isn't for you. But I can say with, uh, you know, with very good confidence in terms of finishing, in terms of details, in terms of the loom, the tactile feel, the movement, the design, the history, this watch is a complete package. It's a really <laughs> enjoyable one that I will have a very difficult time sending back to Aquastar. In fact, I, I think I need to buy this. I really have enjoyed my short amount of time with the vintage Silver Star Aquastar Deep Star 2. Now, reach out with any questions you may have. Thank you for watching today. All relevant links will be in the description of the video. I'll see you next time.